Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. It's, I forget the date, but it's a, it's Thursday. So I wanted to check in cause I just went to the Sprouts Market here in Ventura. I had to uh, take some medicine down for my wife's employees. So she'd give it to her client. So I had to do a rendezvous. And um, I stopped by the Sprouts to get you know to to get some some basic supplies here there you go now buckle up get yourself in there some basic supplies right and it's pretty well stocked up even the vitamins are coming back in and and all of that stuff which was pretty cleaned out last week and again for me yeah we're all we're all playing it we're all playing it super safe and the whole thing like you know what I mean? Taking responsibility for our own space, which is I've always thought was something that humans needed to work on. But one thing I've realized and just, again, cause I say hello to everybody and I make sure everybody's upbeat and the whole thing is, the more, when I go out and interact with people, I feel like better in the sense that I don't see the, the, I don't see anybody rolling over on this thing. And I mean, I, I see people showing up and doing their very best to keep the system running as is. Yeah, there's a lot of people that aren't working right now and all of that kind of stuff that are, are nervous and I don't blame them. But what I, but what I do see is that can-do spirit, man. Yes, okay, I'm. you know, everybody's playing along with the social distancing and the hands and on all of the stuff, gloves and, and you know, masks. I haven't seen a lot of masks, but everyone's keeping their space and everyone's being real respectful. And to me, that that's actually like, helps me because what I found is and I think this might be part of the mind virus is the sitting at home and trying to figure out what's going on on the outside world which isn't your localized outside world's pretty scary and intense yes something like that not quite you just got to keep your distance from people and keep your hands clean you and all that. Gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta, um, 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 um. What's that? Don't be sick. Don't be sick. And don't make the coronavirus. Yeah, exactly. And so, I think there's a, a, a an, an interface here where your, your local people are actually all sticking together. Your local community is actually all sort of rolling through this together. And that inspires me and actually makes me feel connected to God and, and my community as a whole. When I sit at home, like I can isolate myself from the outside world pretty well, but, but the interface to try to figure out what is going on is being broadcast in a very scary way. And, and I would just suggest that you look into Operation Blue Beam and kind of scale that down for what's going on now is, is if a lot of what we're being bombarded with is very intense electromagnetic energy, i.e. media, social media, all of these types of things. And yet I have, over the course of the last two weeks, I have still yet to talk to or run into a person who is who is falling apart to this thing. I see a lot of people who are unsure, but I don't see anybody giving up. And that to me is very inspirational. Yeah, we're gonna have to do make a lot of adjustments and we're all gonna have to like, kind of adopt people that, that, that to get them through this thing. And we're all gonna have to turn on the economic machine and all that stuff. But on the human level, on the baseline human level, I am feeling 
more inspired than less. And, and I think that's a super important thing. Like I'm saying, like we all gotta kinda take responsibility for our space and maybe not go out. Cause I'm not afraid of, of getting it. But then the, the, the thing is, is like I'm a vessel of transmission. Maybe, I don't know. So what I'm getting at is it's, it's a time right now where, where fear is our enemy. Fear is the mind virus. Because everything else, I think as Americans and can do, we can tackle this, this hurdle. And the world culture, I think, can tackle this hurdle. It, it is time for the world to come together for the right reasons. And, and health and humanity is seems to be a pretty legit reason to... Uh, have the world get together and, and kind of do this thing. And I think we're going to realize that, you know, sovereignty on all levels is super important, whether it's national sovereignty, personal sovereignty, civic sovereignty, all of these things is, is we all are being required to take responsibility for our own personal space right now. And like, again, I see people more stepping up to the plate than less stepping up to the plate. In fact, I haven't seen anyone or talked to anyone who isn't stepping up to the plate and taking care of business. So I just, again, I'm just wanted, I'm in the field today taking care of some stuff and, and laying low and all of that stuff. But the limited contact I had with my community as a at, at large was very positive and the stores were full and Look, man, we can do this together. Like I keep staying shoulder to shoulder, soul to soul. We can do this. So just don't isolate mentally. And that doesn't mean go on social media. I mean, call somebody, talk to somebody, make at least verbal contact with another human being today, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed. Find one of your stronger people and ask them if they can have some time and just, re everybody needs to reassure everybody. That's, I think is, is the most important thing we can do because if the mind virus gets in here, it's gonna affect our, our, the rest of our spacesuit. And our strong mind comes from a strong heart and a strong heart comes from a strong spiritual contact with God. So I'm gonna get on the freeway here and that's what I have for you. This is the illusion and owl reporting out.